Potential tropical cyclone number nine. And that is this wave that we've been calling Invest 94L. The center is somewhere in here. That's the eastern tip of Cuba. We think it's probably somewhere right up in here. Should do something like this and then turn and go north up into the Bahamas. Okay, that's the forecast right now. 35 mile per hour winds, pressure 1008, and it's moving to the northwest at nine miles per hour. That's good. The more north in that than west, the better. All right, here's the forecast track. Just came out this afternoon at 5 o'clock, and you can see by tomorrow afternoon, 35 mile per hour winds, but then 50 by Sunday afternoon. So tomorrow night, we think it gets organized enough. If it's not tomorrow night, it'll be early on Saturday that we get tropical storm Imelda. Okay, and then Imelda goes to 65 mile per hour winds by Sunday night in the northern Bahamas. Category one hurricane Imelda by Sunday or Monday afternoon. And then look what it does here. It just slows down as it approaches the coast of Charleston, South Carolina, right? The Hurricane Center admitted they have very little faith in this forecast these last two days. They just don't know what it's going to do right now, but they have an idea it's going to get into that area. As of now, they have the tropical storm warnings for the southern Bahamas, watches for the northern Bahamas, including Nassau, or those, those will likely go to warnings here soon. Here's the forecast models. Here's the problem, right? Some of them do take it right into South Carolina. Some of them stall it and then take it out to the east. Some of them slowly bring it in. So what's it going to be? Well, we're still waiting to see what these steering mechanisms do. You see how this little U right here, the yellow colors, you see how that's moving slowly like that? Normally, that would be this here. This would come up and it would just keep going and push everything out to sea. All right, but that's not what's going to happen. You see where it is now. By tomorrow and tomorrow night, it's going to be deep and coming like this. And so instead of pushing that way, it's now just going this way. But that's allowing this to come up and not come into Florida. So that's actually a good thing. But then to make it worse, instead of just kind of keep going really slow, it doesn't go at all. It closes off this low. And so now the, the storm has no pressure here. It can go this way, it can go that way. It's going to probably be a good 24 to 36 hours before we get a better handle on what that's going to do. So the Carolinas, Georgia really want to watch it. This is Umberto, 115 mile per hour winds, Cat 3. That, look at the eye on that thing, 25 plus miles wide. It, it's a big one. And then look at this forecast for tomorrow afternoon, 145. It's undergoing rapid intensification. Should start to come down a little bit by Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon. There's Bermuda. It's kind of going around Bermuda Tuesday into Wednesday.